I can't handle it. I can't take it. He's good. He's good. He's a good human. Well, good for you. Stand by Thank your you. man. Stand, you know what? Stand Blood. by your man. <laughs> well, like, tell me about this Hall of Fame story that you brought up. Let's break into that a little bit. The Hall of Fame. Okay. So, I mean, I have to go back to the Hulkster being under mind control from his ex-wife, Jennifer. Um, and you know what? And here's the thing. Like, <coughs> excuse me. And here's the thing, again, I say. So I told the story about the lawsuit that Brutus was supposed to be involved in when um, what's her twat said, you know, they had sex or whatever. She said blowjobs, whatever. Um, and then that was let go. So oh, there was disturbances with Brutus and, and Hogan. Um, and there was one time where Hogan tried to like, be friends again with Brutus. Now, all of this in the interim, Brutus's ex-wife comes in. I'm not your enemy. I'm, you know, la, 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 and, 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 and my my daughter and yeah, 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 whatever. So Terry, because his ex his wife now ex-wife had this problem with me. Terry for whatever reason, wanted to hurt the one and only person who has ever stood by him and protected his secrets. Um, and got together with Brutus's ex-wife. He posted a photo I could send you, whatever, um, with Brutus's ex-wife. It said, like, you mad, bro? You mad? What up? What up? You mad? Why you mad, bro? Whatever. And it was, like, directly to hurt Brutus. You know, because Terry never had time for Brutus's ex-wife or Brutus's daughter, for that matter. Mm, whatever. I got to not do that. But, so, Hall of Fame, before Hall of Fame, Terry reached out to Brutus and they started talking and working out. And we had had a conversation on the phone about things that had been said and that we were going to bury the hatchet, not think about things that were tweeted, that I said, that Terry said, um, the back and forth. We were going to sweep it under the rug. And I said, I will never say another thing about you. He said, I'll never say anything about you. Let's just move forward. And, and that's where we were. Um, and then there was the N bomb, uh, that came out that Hogan had said about his daughter, Brooke dating the, like the black guy and, and how, if she was going to date a black guy, he'd rather it be like some millionaire basketball athlete or, or whatever type of type of guy. Okay. Whatever. We all want our kid to date a millionaire, but why he went and had to say black guy, white guy, whatever. This should be whatever. I'd rather my daughter date a professional football player making a million dollars. I don't know why he had to go there with like a color thing. But anyway, so he had problems. He got thrown out of the Hall of Fame or whatever it was. So fast forward there comes like terry calls brutus and he was like hey i'm trying to get you in the hall of fame i'm talking to vince um blah blah blah, blah. boom brutus was she was so excited he was so happy because he felt and, and everybody who was there felt brutus really really deserved it brutus doesn't get the appreciation that he should because people think it's all because of Hogan, when really there would be no Hulk Hogan if there was no British beefcake. But that's another conversation. Anywho, so um, 
the Hulk's working on it. Brutus gets a call from Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart says, Brutus, I want to let you know you're on the short list for Hall of Fame, and I'm really, really rooting for you. So that kind of made it seem like this is like a legit thing. It's not a Hulk Hogan thing. Brutus is like on the short list. Maybe he'll get in the Hall of Fame. Um, so we do get a call from Mark Carano, and he's, you know, he says, I, I want to let you know, Brutus, like, we're inducting you in the Hall of Fame. Like, everything was so wonderful. We were so, hi, Daddy. We were so happy. We were so thrilled. Um, and then shit went sideways all of a sudden. Terry called and he said, uh, I saw some tweets uh, I saw some stuff Missy said about uh, me. She said about your daughter. A lot of the stuff was geared towards your daughter, which I've never tweeted or said anything bad about Brutus's daughter. I may have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brutus's ex-wife back and forth, but I believe kids are off limits. Um, now, meanwhile... I never saw any of these tweets or texts or whatever. Um, and um, we went, we were on our way to the Hall of Fame. And uh, I saw Terry at the airport. He was like walking, through, like mm -hmm, pretending like he's on his cell phone. Um, and he was sitting with, um, oh, what the hell is her name? She's a tiny little thing, cute as a button. God help me. What is that tiny little cute as a button lady that had the dog that passed away? Do you remember her name? What? The tiny little cute little wrestler lady. She was married to like that flash guy. Whatever. Anyway, so she was there and I went over to Terry and I said, hello. And I said, you know, whatever's going on, I don't, don't believe the things that you've heard. Like, don't let this come between you and Brutus. And, um, not Tori Wilson. I forget what her name is. Anyway, so he was on a different flight than us. We went to, you know, blah, 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 blah. So we are in our room Terry calls and he says to Brutus, I'm with Vince. I want you to come down and, and have a conversation. Well, Brutus goes down and he hears that I have been calling Mark Carano's phone off the hook at all hours of the night trying to get in touch with him. Now, I don't think Vince knew that Brutus was remarried. Because it was actually Brutus's ex-wife, Barbie, calling because she was trying to find out how much money Brutus made. She was sending subpoenas out. I was talking to Scott Altman, who worked for the WWE, about these subpoenas that Barbie was sending out to find out how much money Brutus made. Barbie, and in Andrew Anderson's video, says Brutus wanted to collect as social security. So he was in on the Brutus wanted to collect social security mm. thing. It was Barbie calling my Carano, not me. And Terry thought it was me because Barbie was saying it was me. And Vince was saying, so here I am little Missy from Jamaica plane. Right. And I got Vince McMahon's got me in his mouth. <laughs> Time, but in a bad way. <laughs> like I am like, woohoo, Vince McMahon knows who I am, but for all the wrong reasons. Right. So um Terry inducted Brutus into the Hall of Fame. He made a complete debacle of his speech. He talked about Brutus being the booty man and the this and the that and the this and that. All the shit that he wasn't even in the WWE. Brutus gets up to accept the award. Terry leaves 
motions to Jennifer and leaves as Brutus is giving his acceptance speech. And Brutus says, thank you, Terry. I am your friend to the end. And he looks out. No Hogan. Wow. Terry used Brutus to get back into the WWE to get his floppy, big, flat fucking feet back into the graces and fucked Brutus over again. Well, Missy, incredible stories and thank you for being so truthful on everything that's been going on. Um, You're welcome. What a pleasure it is to meet you and uh, hopefully... Maybe we'll talk about doing the Missy and Monty show in the future. I'm going to have to sit back and discuss that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I would love that. All right, perfect. I, uh, I really, I, I feel like I have, I have a friend now. I met a new friend, an incredible human being, and thank you again for this candid interview. That's so sweet of you, and, and, and thank you very much. I, nobody's ever given me the opportunity to, to talk and and talk about the things that bother me, the things that happened, and the truth about what's gone on. So this is this is a first. And there's, and there's more. There's more. Well, I want you to enjoy the rest of your weekend. Again, thank you. What an honor it is that you uh, graced, graced us with your presence. Uh, so I'll sweet. talk to you shortly. Thank you yes. again. The thank great you. great Missy Beefcake. All right, guys, we'll see you at 9 o'clock where we got the fabulous one. I want to thank Missy Beefcake for being so honest and candid. Abe, what did you think? I thought it was great. I love, uh, I love the people that got, like, those big, long stories you can just kind of sit back and listen to. You know what I mean? It's, it's definitely, you know. She the has one a lot thing to I'm say, most impressed impress about is she defends her husband to the end regardless yeah. it's amazing it's it's really sweet and i you know i'm looking at all these pictures of them and it's it's just so sweet that she has such nice things to say you know all right well what an honor all right guys we'll see you at nine